Hey everyone, it's CrossyDactyGames.com here, and today I'm kind of doing a mod review. Except, it's better than horses, which you should know is not a mod that's out yet, or my mod. So I'm creating a mod with Youth Digital. And I've kind of set up a mod showcase. So first let me show you how I made it. So we have Eclipse, which we're using to kind of work out problems and code it up. So, and I learned on Youth Digital, you have to buy the course for a year, but it's an amazing course so far. I've only made a sword, but it is really cool and I love it. And it's such a great, course i've already made a sword with it and what it does is you have your first thing is you normally do you probably will always do texture first it'll tell you how to do texture how to make this texture and everything it always has different tips and you're using gimp for it gimp actually comes with the software that you get so GIMP isn't a problem. You don't have to download anything before this. You just have to download anything different from the course stuff before this. You have to download the software, which is Eclipse and GIMP, and which all comes in the same package. And you're ready to start working on your mod. So like I said, the first thing you normally do is to make a thing is you texture and then you code it to show up in Minecraft and then you code it to be able to craft. And then my favorite part is tr troubleshooting where you learn a bit about the coding and then you try and fix the code of what's wrong in the code. And if you ever get stuck, if like uh, you're trying to make an ore, which I haven't tried, and it will not generate in Minecraft no matter what you do, you have this really helpful help button where you can kind of tell them something and they'll tell you and they'll tell you what to do. And there's also the portal, which is also very important, where you can see other mods made by other people who use this course. So it's kind of a way to start getting your mod out there if you're interested in taking this course. So there are twelve modules which are like sections. And normally and you can take the modules over and over again and keep programming different things but we got all these things so first you make you get started then you draw your sword you make your pick which I'm not going to make my pick the next time you make items or armor biomes mobs a lot more other of other stuff like blocks and foods uh, tank new tameable animals and achievements and then you package it all up into your own mod now I've not done all this um, and the most important thing is the points store. So if you get points for doing quizzes and troubleshooting, then you can do little quizzes which you have to answer everything right. There's lots of different types of answering and questions and stuff. You get points for it. So you can spend those on the point shop. You don't really spend those. It's just the amount of points you have, you unlock a new thing. So it's not exactly a store. And now I'm going to show you what I've made with it. So this is going to be my continuous mod showcase setup since I'm going to be doing this over and over again, showcasing what I've done. So the first thing is, the only thing I've made is this sword. I've made my own sword, and you say, uh, that looks, looks like a different looking sword. It's a different crafting recipe. Well, it's actually not. It is a lot different than a vanilla sword. So as you can see, you can craft it with a lava bucket and a blaze rod, and, you, and, it, and it's just as strong as an iron sword. So you, And it gives you back the buckets, which I found amazing. I kind of laughed a little bit when I saw that it gives you back your buckets. Yeah, But you, you will say, 
oh, it's just an iron sword. Why make an iron sword when having to go out when you have to go out and you have to fight blazes and then you have to get iron to make the buckets? Well, this is why, so let's spawn. I really don't really like villagers much, so let's test it on a villager. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is why you go through all that effort. Uh -huh. Yes, you just saw it. Let's see it uh -huh. again. This sword lights stuff on fire when you hit it. So that's why you go out, hunt blazes, and get lava buckets, because it seems a little bit overpowered. And currently it's supposed to be a lava sword, so soon it'll go back to it'll go to only lighting it on fire, but doing a lot more fire damage. But lightning is the closest to fire I can do right now. So let's see this one more time. That is cool. So I definitely recommend you checking out this course and checking it out. And especially if you've ever been interested in making your own mod, then start, then start, you can easily start out with this course. And one more cool thing, I, a few more things I need to show you is it does show up in your mod section. So it's not one of those weird mods which show, show up in your mod section but shows up in the inventory, which I've had happen to me a few times, which is kind of strange. And then what it teaches you to use is Java. So Java is your the language that Minecraft is programmed in, as well as you're going to be programming your mod. So this looks pretty foreign to you probably unless you speak Java Java but once you take the course you'll be able to understand most of this stuff which is pretty cool so my mod or and everyone's mod is built up of assets which are the pictures um and code which is in my mod so just to make this a ton easier they have templates which you have templates for code and templates for pictures. So say you wanted to make a sword, then you would have a picture of an iron sword which you can edit and make it look like it's different. And then they also have code where you can, where it has code in, so you just edit the coding and then you have your own sword, pickaxe, biome, any, Anything you can, anything that's in normal Minecraft, you can make better with this thing. It's so cool, and I love it so much. It's just an amazing course, and I love it. And I will probably be using it for this year that I bought it for, and making different mods, adding on to my old mod, working really hard on making it as cool as possible. It's really awesome for me and i just love it so yeah i hope you liked it and i'll see you tomorrow